In this video, what we're going to be doing is solving the lattice paths problem for Project Euler. And uh, this is the problem right here. So it says starting in the top left corner, so this corner right here, of a two by two grid, and only being able to move to the right or downwards. So you can move to the right or you can move downwards. There are exactly six routes to the bottom right corner. So we can go all right and then all down, right down, right down, right down down right and so on and what it says is that how many such routes are there through a given grid size so we can be given a grid size in our function like this and we have to calculate how many possible routes there are so the first thing we're going to be doing is just copying out this function to implement over here so i'm just going to say let uh, lattice paths and it's going to take in a number which is the size of the grid right here and uh, let's just uh, for the example let's just go with uh, four like this so for four apparently there are 70 roots so the, uh, the one thing we can do to start off with is we should make some observations right here and this is mainly to do with the choices that we're able to make so when we have a two by two grid right here we know that it needs to take at least uh, four steps to get to the bottom of the grid. So for example, here we have right, right, down, down. Here we have right, down, right, down. So there are four different choices. And if this is one by one grid like this, so if it's just this top square right here, there'd be just be two choices. So you'd go right, down, or down, right. So what we can observe here is that the number of choices that we have to make in total is equal to two times the size of the grid. So if we had a one by one grid, we'd make two choices. If we had a, a two by two grid, we'd make four choices. And if it's three by three grid, we'd make six choices in total. Another thing that we have to consider is how many times we, so we know there are two possible choices we can make. We can go right or down. So another thing to consider is how many times we can make each choice. And in terms of a two by two grid, you can go right exactly twice and you can go down exactly twice as well. So you can go right, right, down, down, or down, down, right, right, or down, right, down, right, like this. But you can't go right more than twice and you can't go down more than twice. So the number of times we can make each choice in particular is the, is the same as the size of the grid. So in a two by two grid, we can do, um, uh, we can move, make, each choice twice. So again, in a two by two grid, we have four total choices and we can make each choice twice. So we can go right twice and down twice. And then a one by one grid, we'd make two total choices, but we can only go right once and down once. So what we have with this information is we actually have a formula that we can use to calculate something like this very quickly. And this is called the combination formula, or I think the binomial formula. And uh, what you have is you can have n, which is the number of choice to total choices we can make, which is two times the grid size. And then we have k, which is the amount of times you can make each choice. And with this formula right here, um, we were able to calculate the number of possible routes uh, that we can do to make those choices. So the first thing we can note here is in this formula we have this exclamation mark here and that's a factorial function so a factorial function is just the number multiplied by all numbers less than it down to one so for example three factorial will be three times two times one so the first thing we want to do is actually create a function to be able to do factorials since we have um several times we have to calculate factorials right here so what i'm going to say is let uh, factorial and this is going to take in a number and this is going to be a recursive function and what I'm going to say is since I said it goes down to 1 I'm going to say if the number is equal to 1 then we can just return the number otherwise what we can do is we can return number times factorial of number minus one. So again, what this does is if we took in three here, for example, three is not equal to one. So it would do three times factorial of two 
2 is not equal to 1, so that would return 2 times the factorial of 1, which is just 1 right here. So we would essentially be doing 3 times 2 times 1, and this would go on and on and on. So we have our factorial function right here. So the next thing to do is to basically build out this formula right here. So the first thing we're going to have is we're going to say um, we're going to have let n right here and n is the uh, number of total choices that we have and like I said before that's two times the size of the grid. So for example in two by two grid we take one two three four steps in total. In a one by one grid we take two steps in total so it's just two times the grid size. Then we have k, and like I said before, k is the number of times we're allowed to make each distinct choice. So in a 2x2 two two grid, you can go right twice or you can go down twice, but you can't go right more than twice or down more than twice. So um, for each grid, uh, whatever the size of that grid is, that's exactly how many times we can make each choice. So k is just going to be equal to the grid size. We could actually make this more efficient by just uh, using the grid size directly rather than k. So the next thing we have to do is just build out the formula basically. So if we look at the formula right here, at the top of the fraction is just n factorial. So we'll say return and what we want to do is factorial of n right here and then we want to go ahead and divide that which is this part right here and we want to divide that by k factorial I'm going to put this in brackets just to make it a bit more clearer. So we can say factorial of k, which is k factorial, multiplied by, and then we have n minus k factorial. So we want to do factorial of n minus k. Again, I would recommend that you watch this uh, Khan Academy video if you want to know why this formula works as a proof right here. So again, just to double check, we have n exclamation mark or factorial of n at the top divided by factorial of k times factorial of n minus k. And that should pretty much be everything we need to do for this. So let's try it out. So um, for 4 here, we, we should get 70 back. So let's try it. So node demo. And we can see that we get 70 returned. And for 9, there's 48,620 possible combinations. Yeah, these grow very quickly. So let's try that with um, 9. And yep, we have 48,620. And finally, for 20, a 20 by 20 grid, we have, what is that? Uh, I don't even know. It's, it's over 846 million. So... That's, that's what we should get, so let's try that with 20. And yeah, we have it right here. So that should be everything we need to do. Um, we're gonna need both to submit both of these formulas, of course, for this to work. So what I'm just gonna do here is just zoom this out a little bit and we can paste that in right here. So again, we have our main formula and then we have our factorial formula. So if I go ahead and uh, submit that, we can see that it's passed successfully and we can go ahead and submit the challenge.